emperor of the dreaming city, lord of Melibony, sword the color of ebony, throne of ruby, the souls of my enemies, cast to hell for eternity, eternal champion, my king. Down a road that's long overgrown is a land that's forgotten, ways that are forgotten, a people who ruled for thousands of years but now have all but disappeared. My king. What's up, Welfare Line? Fat Ass McBoy here. Once again with your weekly update, but we're a little bit of a different backdrop this week because Jason Slogger and his beautiful wife off camera has invited us up to Georgia to run away from the hurricane. Um, so we're going to be doing the update from his beautiful house here. Um, don't want to touch too much on the hurricane. Um, what? 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 You just kind of like well, you can do this. You can like do the Doctor Evil. You can okay. you can do anything you want. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I just want to talk mostly about the bash last week. Uh, everybody, I think, had a great fucking time at the bash. Um, a lot of a lot of new people showed up, and that was cool. And I've heard from a lot of new liners saying um, that they they will not miss another one. So if you haven't been, make plans. Three you got 51 weeks to go. It's Labor Day every year. Don't miss it. All right, get your shit together. <laughs> There were so many good quotes this year at the bash. Like, um, even uh, Davis Voop put up a uh, <laughs> put up a quote uh, thread, and there's awesome, a lot of awesome quotes in it. If you want to scroll back and look for it, definitely go check that out. You get a good laugh. But I'm gonna have to give quote of the week to legendary pro skateboarder Bill Danforth, who said, "I put Mongo on the map," hey, Mom. and he is correct. Mongoloids. <laughs> Mongoloids forever. <laughs> Great fucking quote, Bill. Good work. Woo! Also this week, um, a couple people put up a news report from major news media outlets about Facebook raffles. Um, the world knows about our little secret, y'all. So um, we don't have any issues with that in our little neck of the Facebook woods. But definitely be aware. Definitely be safe. You don't want to get... Uh, I don't think anybody's getting in trouble. I think Facebook's just shutting down raffle groups. So uh, just um, you know, use your head when uh, doing raffles. One of the other coolest things that I liked this week was, um, of course, scrolling back, seeing all the pictures and videos. And uh, one of my favorite things of those was seeing how many liners um, accidentally ran into each other in airports going home. And uh, even coming in, that was cool to see. Um, that would definitely be a highlight of one of my trips if that had happened to me. Um, so, again, thanks for everybody for uh, sharing all those with us. I, I know there's some out there that were probably bored and sick of seeing all the videos and pictures. Not me. I enjoyed it. Thanks. Hurricane Irma. Ooh. Um, one of my Bash 3 highlights this year was uh, the Dawn Patrol morning session that we did. Um, it was a lot of fun. We, uh, we got up early. Uh, we were supposed to be on the road by 7, but we were on the road by 8, which was still pretty good, considering how everybody fucking tore it up for, uh, Thursday night. Um, I want to give uh, much thanks and love and appreciation to uh, Corey Mansour for leading the charge on that. Um, I appreciate it. You were, you, <laughs> surprisingly enough, you were one of the first ones to come down into the lobby. Um, you were looking pretty rough, but you did it. You pulled it off. And Corey, you're a fucking man among men, my friend. And uh, we were missing somebody from that morning session. I can't remember. Who were we missing from that? Ah, I can't remember. Um, Somebody important was supposed to be there and didn't make it. I, I don't know. I, it's, just, it's, it, it's I, I can't, I can't think of it. So, if you missed out, you missed a fucking damn good time. Well, we're headed back home. Um, we are on I-16, headed towards Savannah, Georgia, and I-95 to head south. So we stopped at America's Classic Waffle House to get a little grub in our bellies before we get back on the road. Um, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the amazing Schlager family. Um, absolutely, absolutely fantastic 
that they allowed us to in their home um, for the duration of the storm. Um, luckily, nothing happened, but if something did happen, they basically saved our lives. And, and I just I can't thank them enough for everything they've done. They made us feel right at home, um, and it was <laughs> it was extremely difficult to even leave. Uh, it took us a couple hours just to get out of the house because nobody wanted to leave. And um, again, um, Tammy and Jason and Chelsea and and, uh, and Ryan and just everybody just made us feel at home and I, I just can't thank y'all enough it was we had a fantastic time we uh, we ate like kings um, we went out we did some skating um, it was just phenomenal phenomenal time felt like a vacation didn't feel like we were evacuating at all so um, thank you guys and I love you so much and I appreciate you taking care of my family like you did you guys are family as well I mean this is the line this is what we do so um, again I'm rambling at this point uh, on to the next segment in case you haven't figured it out by now I'm doing little segments for the bash or the bash for the update the weekly update um, Jason over the weekend had said that uh, he loves the update but he wants it to be longer so I'm making a longer one and what a lot of people are also doing what you know they don't realize until they see this is they thought that I wasn't gonna do an update this week but uh, I just wanted to make a long one and document our trip home as well um, so the long this long uh, update is for Jason and uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, Peter Monks this morning told everybody to put up their own weekly update since I didn't do it this week and they are fucking hilarious Tony Wood um, Steve Cook, Johnny Davidson, uh, Wayne Wells, uh, there's a couple more I think that I've missed that I gotta scroll back and look for. And uh, you guys keep the, just making me smile on the whole way home. So uh, I'm enjoying all the weekly updates and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this one. So I'm gonna cut it off and get inside and go eat and the next segment will be soon. Right about now starts the fade. cool thing about the bash this year if y'all didn't realize but well, we had five countries represented at this year's bash um, United States Canada the United Kingdom uh, Philippines and Australia were all represented at this year's bash and to me that is just fucking phenomenal um, I want to thank everybody that traveled long, long distances to come hang out. Uh, hope you all come back next year and uh, bring your friends because the bash is amazing. You know that now. So, uh, yeah, that was awesome. I was, I was stoked to learn that fact. So my plan was to uh, do little bits of this update on the road. But uh, once we got close to the Florida Georgia line, shit got kind of uh, got kind of rough. Um, so I really had to focus on driving. It was it was very nuts coming across that line. So I'll finish the update here at home. Uh, I'm outside checking on the uh, condition of the house, and uh, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, So yeah, forgive me, I just woke up. Don't even have coffee in me yet. We got in about three. So uh, I'll get this update finished today and uh, get it posted for you guys. But we're looking pretty good. Yeah, even our big old tree made it. A little rough looking, but she made it. We all made it. I love the line. 
So it only seems appropriate to uh, finish up this uh, weekly update here at the wall. Uh, boards are still not up. They're sitting down over here on the ground. Um, we just got in. We, we got in late and uh, I'm just now waking up. But speaking of hurricanes, um, I wanted to give a uh, big shout out to a few people. Um, Casey O'Hara hosted a huge um, benefit raffle for the city of Houston to help out with uh, their hurricane mess that they're going through. And uh, it went off um, pretty well. I'm not sure the dollar amount he raised, but it, it was definitely a lot. Um, also, uh, last weekend at the Bash, <coughs> um, man, I can't even think straight. I'm still not even, still not even awake. I just want to get this done for you guys. Mike Vieser at the Bash, um, he brought a deck to raffle off, and uh, he donated all the proceeds from that to Casey's uh, Casey's Houston raffle. Uh, I think he raised 500 bucks just for that board alone. So Mike Vieser, this is to you, um, Casey O'Hara. Thank you for um, I'm doing it for all the Texans over there. I hope everybody over there is safe. Yes, baby, I'm right here. My cat, she's just happy to be home. She's been trapped in a car for 14 hours yesterday. And uh, here, oh, you want to be on video? You want to be on video? Say hi to Rabbit, everybody. This is Rabbit. Say hi, Rabbit. So, um, yeah, uh, Casey, just fantastic job. Um, hope you raised a lot of money. I haven't even watched the video yet. Because um, I said what I said previously in the other one, the other clip that uh, the ride home was rough and I didn't get a chance to look at Facebook much. And I uh, also want to thank um, Jared McKinney who once again stepped up to the plate and uh, he's the king of giant raffles. And of course, they, you know, nailed it out of the park. Uh, damn, I'm still half asleep. I'm foggy, man. I gotta wake the fuck up. Mike Vieser, Casey O'Hara, Jared McKinney, thank you all for everything you do for all of us here on the line. Well, I think that's going to do it for this week's uh, weekly update. It's been an uh, interesting one for sure. Uh, just got uh, took some, some of these shutters off and uh, plywood off and opened up the house a little bit, did some unpacking and some cleaning up around the house. So, I'm going to call it a day. Um, in case y'all didn't know, this episode is the one year anniversary of the weekly update. That is correct. Last year at Bash 2 is when Chuck Bryan came up with the idea to do the weekly update. And I did it the week, uh, the week after Bash 2, the very first episode. And here we are, a year later goes by just that fucking fast so I'm out um, dinner's almost ready spaghetti and homemade meatballs so we're here y'all uh, be good if you can't be good don't get fucking caught love y'all <laughs>